Hello to all you lovely human beings and welcome back to the Cursed Out Bank video part 2. Today we will be going over all of our customs and cosmetics that I did not get to in the last video because I didn't want it to be too long. But before we get into that lovely video coming up, let's talk about the giveaway for this video. We will be giving away two of these beautiful ultimate Easter cow fight pets. And these go for anywhere from 10 to 20 trillion each, so we'll call them 15 each. That'll be a 30 trillion GP giveaway, and all you gotta do to reply for that is like the video, comment your in-game name in the comment section, and be subscribed. And it's that simple, folks. That easy. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So everything that you see right here in this tab, which, well, I mean, there's more stuff above it, but everything you see right here is, in fact, a one out of one custom. There are one of each of these in-game, and I have them all. So first thing, let's talk about my first round of customs. Now, that's this whole line here, plus these three, this, and this this actually this too i think yes so i got these customs or rather i ordered these customs about two years ago i think it's september october 2020 something like that and you can no longer do this by the way these are one of one unfortunately there's no custom offers going on right now occasionally they pop up like the ten unholy behemoths custom that uh scooby doo and spawn pk bot and swords all got so let's talk about my customs here my first one, and this is what this was my first idea of customs, was the Third Age Melee. Now this is Cursed's Third Age. It's basically the purple that you see on the e-boots, on the Dark Mystic set, and many other high tier items in game. Now this is the fit I usually wear in most of my videos, most of the gambling stuff. This is like my, my main outfit. If you want to check it out, I think it looks pretty damn sick. It's Cursed Third Age, we got the Average Eye, the Grand Champion Wings, all this stuff here. Um, that's our first custom. Then we move on to the Yoshi Ganger. The Yoshi Ganger has an interesting story. So the Yoshi Ganger initially was owned by somebody called Casino. He got a custom way, way, way back when, much before I played. Um, he got banned for real world trading, but as a part of my custom deal, I got it. Basically, what the Yoshi Ganger does is it's a doppelganger and a Yoshi Ganger in one. You just have to click. You have to click the switch effect button, and this works in the wilderness too. So I can make it switch back and forth from a doppelganger to a Yoshi. It's a pretty cool pet, and it looks awesome. Next up, the regular Third Age pieces. Now again, these are all one of one. They look great. Let's pick up the Yoshi Ganger so we don't have that going on the whole time. They look great with the regular Third Age sets. We've got the Third Age pickaxe, the Third Age skirt. I prefer the legs, but we have the skirt. We have the cloak and the amulet and also the axe. These are all one out of one. These are mine and they will never be owned by another human being. Unless I give away my entire bank, which could happen eventually. Who knows? These, of course, look super cool with like, you know, normal white attributes like like this i think looks pretty cool with this and this i, I prefer that this is my preferred fit with the uh, with the third age i think it looks pretty sick next up the dagonoff king pets now these i don't really know the full story behind them there is a story um they were somebody else's customs that i got to to swipe up in my custom deal but i don't know the story they're also one of one um the rest of them are banned they used to be on someone's account they are no longer they look pretty fun i, I don't really use them that often but when i do you know they're they're kind of cute little dinosaur boys Next up, another cool one here. We have the Cursed Fortune Genie. This is essentially just a fort that's gold. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I have a, an outfit that works with this, so we'll keep it out. So yeah, that's uh, that, that's our, our, our pets there. These are, are all the customs that I got initially. Moving on to my favorite set of mine is the Cursed Outs Wings and Shaman set. So these are wings that, uh, that, that can change to many different forms. So I'll show you guys all of those right now. First off, we've got the dark blue set, which is one of my favorites. It's so, so pretty. I'm very, very happy with how this turned out. Um, next up, we have the ancient set. Now, this one is a bit trippy, so I'm not going to keep it on for too long. I just wanted something that looked completely unique, like nothing you'd ever seen on Spawn BK before, and I think this set definitely accomplishes it. I've also got the frost set, but I don't have wings to match it because the other pair of wings that, that is custom out there is PK Happy Tails wings, and his match this set. That being said, though, we can still make some pretty cool looking outfits with it. This is the usual fit with the white one. I don't wear this one that often, but I do like it. Next up, we have the gold outfit, which is why I have the Fortune Genie out with the wings to match. Now, I think this one looks totally sick, especially with the Genie out. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that hooded man, you know? I really dig this one. I was very, very particular about getting the wings and the Fortune Genie to be the exact same color. So that's that. And moving on. So now I'll show off the uh, the uh, the wing colors that you have not seen. So this is our last shaman set here. I think this looks totally sick. And I'll show this with another set later. But uh, yeah, this is our last shaman set. It's like a TV static polka dot kind of thing. Really, really cool looking in my opinion. Probably my favorite of the set. Maybe dark blue is. I'm not totally sure. But let's move on to the next set of the wings here. So we've got two here that are not included in the shaman set. We've got Karazi. These are the Karazi wings. I'll show you what this looks like. Basically, we're a little tree man, and I'll show you what it looks like with the full outfit. 
So this one, basically, yeah, you're, you're a Karazi man. They got the Karazi mall, Karazi wings, a full Karazi and a camel helmet with the jungle dragon pet. I think this one looks pretty sick, too. It's kind of unlike the other ones because there's no shine to it. It's just kind of like, it's, it's what I feel like an army man would look like in RuneScape, I guess. And moving on to the last set here, we've got the infernal wings. These look totally cool. And they are the perfect segue into the next set. Now, so this is our custom that we got initially, right? If we go here to the, the next section of the bank, right? These and all, all these, we have other people's customs and one that's ours as well, but it's a complicated story there, I'll get to it. So this one goes perfectly with the ethereal set, which was initially Scooby's. This was Scooby's ethereal. Um, that is this set right here. I think it looks super cool. It's an infernal set. Um, I think it looks better with the wings that I got though, so that's pretty sick. There's also the Cursed Ethereal Pet. Uh, this got added way later, so it just got my name on it for some reason. Um, that's this really cool ass looking set. I really dig this one. But there's also another pet that goes with this, and with a bunch of other stuff too. There's the Scooby's Behemoth Pet. Now this was also Scooby's custom. Um, we drop this right here. Look how well that goes together, folks. So the story about how I got this is actually pretty interesting, and there'll be a video, I think, including this pretty soon, actually. So quite a while ago now, there was this guy named Spompy K Bot. Um, he traded in 10 Unholy Behemoths for a custom armor set and a custom behemoth. Scooby did the same. Um, they both decided to gamble their customs to each other, uh, and I won basically all these customs off of Spompy K Bot. Spompy K Bot won all of Scooby's customs, I won all of uh, Spompy K Bot's customs. One more thing I got out of that uh, that staking session that's not Spompy K-Bot's customs is the Scooby's Ultimate Omelet pet. I don't know how Scooby got this exactly. I think he traded in a shit ton of Ultimate Omelets because he's staff, but he was able to stake it in that custom staking session. And so, because of that, we won it. And while this thing does look like Figment from Disney World, it does go well with pretty much anything red. Here, wait, let me put that cape on. There we go. Look at that. Pretty nice. Also goes well with the Hunter Anku set, which I did talk about in a recent video. We'll take off these gloves because they look silly. Um, but yeah, here, wait. this is the Hunter Anku set, by the way. One of one in-game as well. Um, more people can get it. You get it from the Soul Shard shop. Also from that shop, since I'm here anyway, I'll show you the Soul Hunter cape, which is essentially a Legends cape that's recolored to match with this set. And there's a little Soul Hunter crown as well. Looks pretty damn sick if you ask me. But back to customs. The last customs that we have here for this video... Um, these are my customs or Spawn BK Bot's customs, depending on how you look at it. When I stake Spawn BK Bot for his customs, he was also staking the naming rights. I confirmed it with him and everything. So these are all under my name now. Um, I should have shown uh, the Inquisitor earlier, but that's fine. Um, we've got the Unholy Behemoth pet right here, which is pretty damn cool. We've got the Inquisitor set, which I think looks absolutely amazing. This thing goes well with pretty much anything green. Uh, it also goes with our behemoth, obviously. Um, the wings match the Inquisitor, all intentional. Um, the Reaper Scythe matches the in Inquisitor as well, all intentional. And if you use the regular Scythe the Vitter, it still looks cool, but not as cool. We also have the Crest Bear set. This is a Crest Bear set that is fully functional, um, perfect for raids, looks super sick. I'm never going to use it with the behemoth because it doesn't make sense to, but they all match. They all look pretty sick. Uh, and yeah, that's, our, that's all of our customs. Let's move on to, I guess, rare cosmetics. Is what we'll go on to next. So I guess we'll start up here at the top. We've got 13 of the Dark Mystic Infinity set. These are pretty sick looking. Check them out. Very pretty, very purple. Only two of the Light Mystic. It doesn't look as cool, but they are significantly rarer. Of course, we've got the Blood Shaman set, which is becoming harder and harder to find lately, as well as the Ethereal set. These are all my rarest of the cosmetics, I think. Um, this is the Ethereal set. Looks pretty cool. Also has gloves and a cape as well that I forgot to show. And there's a pet as well. There we go. There is the pet as well. Cool looking set, very happy to have it. I used to have three, now I have one, and they're impossible to find. Many of them were banned out of the game completely. Moving on to third age, we've got seven melee sets with an extra kite, six mage sets with two extra tops and bottoms, and one extra wand, and five of the range set. That's only the least of, but that's fine because it's the least expensive. Then we've got four of each of the dyed sets. Uh, these look pretty cool with like regular third age stuff. There's the, there's the Justiciar, there's the Ancestral. Pretty sick looking. We've also got these two, which are not quite cosmetic, but they are a rare item, so I figured I'd include them in this moment. This thing is great for any fire spells. This thing is fantastic for raids. And now, folks, big tab time. Let's talk about it. So, we've got so, so, so many party hats and Halloween masks. I have been collecting these probably since I... three months into when I started playing, I'd say. Um, we've got over 5k of each of the regular Halloween masks, over 5k of the Santas. Um, every single Halloween mask and party hat in-game are in here. I have every one of them. The Grim ones are my favorite. They look really cool. Check this out. 
Look at that little Halloween boy. He looks like a little dog. I don't know. And then there's also the Grand Party hat, which looks cool, too. So, yeah, we got a bunch of all of these. I've enchanted a lot of these Halloween masks and party hats myself. Um, so, that's pretty sick. This is the not the entire collection of party hats because there's been a lot of new party hats since I first organized this tab. And I just can't be asked. It's, it would be so much work to, like, fit all the other stuff in there. It would be silly. Also got the, the, the basket of eggs and the festive basket. All the tonics at the time when I first organized this. Uh, yeah, this is my probably favorite part of the entire tab. Oh, there's a lot more value lower down. Like, I've got, I've got over a quad in here, probably, just in random stuff. Um, all the cool little Santa hats here at the bottom, but there's more now, of course. Um, we've got all the skeleton sets. We've got white, green, blue, red. Uh, these are pretty fun. Not amazing cosmetics, but they're fine. Got the enchanted banners and the heraldic shields. These come from heraldic salvage, which you can make in your house, and you can get one of these for pretty cheap if you make it yourself. Probably, like, I don't know, 150 bill, maybe even cheaper. Got all the flowers. These are all discontinued. Um, I bought all these probably like anywhere from 200 bill, like 500 bill each up for the rarer ones. Um, these are discontinued. You cannot get them anymore. You can only get them from older players. Also, we've got 61 dice bags. Uh, I bought these all, I think, for 100 bill each a while back. Um, they're pretty cool, pretty useless. It's just from when gambling wasn't automated, which is how you got these flowers as well. So there's people out there with tons and tons of flowers. Don't don't be mistaken. They're not, they're not super rare or anything. Um, we've got 279 Halloween dies. All these... Uh, cosmetic Halloween outfits. I believe I got these from staking an old eco a long time ago. I think it was Sit Dawn actually, who I got all these like cool Halloween things from. I think it's these two as well. I remember paying a very decent amount for all of them as well. Um, our Ale of the Gods collection just reached 5,000, which is pretty sick. A bunch of sites which are from fancy mystery boxes. Don't be mistaken, they're not rare. Uh, killer sets, uh, Halloween mask and, and, and flaming mask, all those once again from, uh, from Sit Dawn, I believe. Full Joker sets, Anku sets, I don't even know how I got all these, I think from hosting a while back. Joker sets from Fancy Mystery Boxes. These are an old event item, the Christmas set. I'll probably be posting, be, uh, posting this closer to Christmas, so I'll, I'll show it now. Um, I think it's a, a pretty cool looking set, if you ask me. Very, very pretty. I, mean, I never even noticed that little little rainbow bit at the, at the bottom of the hat there. That's, that's so cool. That's super nice. I guess it's all the party hat colors. Yeah. Then we've got the regular Santa outfit, of course, anti-Santa. All this is from, like, old-school events, like, uh, just pretty much copy and paste it for these. But a lot of this stuff is not, so that's pretty sick. Santa Elegant, I think this is, like, semi-rare, but I'm not totally sure. It looks <laughs> it looks kind of silly, but, you know, it is what it is. Candy Cane, um, the Winter Demon and, uh, and Winter Santa stuff all looks pretty cool to me. Wait, let's also grab out some other wintry cool stuff. Got this, this little mask here. Be careful, folks. When you're buying a Winter Demon pet, sometimes people will put these in for the same price as a pet, and you'll get scammed. I've seen it happen a couple times. Make sure to be super careful about that. You do not want to lose your money to a, to a silly-looking mask. Um, these look pretty cool. Got the, the Grag, which makes you look less less fat than the regular one. Um, we've got the little Jester scarf, the Winter Bobble and, and scarf there, too. Got all of our Halos here. I don't know how these have accumulated over time. They just have. Uh, we've got the Winter Deer Hat. I thought these were super rare, and then I learned that they are just not. That they're pretty common, but I look pretty comical. I never realized it covered your face completely. Then we've got all the special, like, sparkly bobble hats and, and scarves right here. All of them look, look pretty cool. Boom, 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 boom. Pretty pretty. We've got our masks here. Again, I don't know how I got these. I think maybe over time from the Blood Shard Shop, something like that. It sounds about right. 147 red flippers. These are from me opening the event chests over and over and over again. These are untradeable, I believe. Or are they? They might not be. Hold on, let's see. If we try to sell it in the trading post. Does it go through? Oh, it does. All right, I thought they were untradeable. I guess they're not. Um, we've got one pair of summer flippers. I don't know how I only have one, but I do. I think these are the ones that are untradeable. Let's see. Moment of truth. Yeah, those are untradeable. But we got them all from the summer chest way back when, when you had to get custom cosmetics. Not custom cosmetics. Well, custom for the game. You had to get cosmetics from the chests. Four pink flippers, one Easter flippers. I thought I had more of those, but I guess not. Um, a lot of these cool-looking flippers here. 30, 38 desert boots. Don't be mistaken. They're from fancy mystery boxes. Don't let people scam you. Got a lot of these bunny sets here. Um, a lot of the mystery box hats here. But then the stylish winter hat. I forgot about this. I, I guess this is from old cosmetic event stuff, but I, they're, they're pretty rare. I feel like I haven't seen them anywhere but my own bank. Got these Hunter's Honors. Uh... Demonic bunny ears, once again, from the event casket. Not event casket, the event chest. Afro collection, growing quickly. Going for 10k of those. A lot of these. Uh, these Dracula masks are also from, I believe, Sit Dawn. They look pretty cool. 
these I believe are all from fancy boxes these as well this as well this as well these are not these are rare I don't know what they're from I, I assume from some Easter event at one point then we've got the uh, the corona chickens which only spawned during when COVID started I believe uh, you get this little chicken you wear it you go anywhere and you can infect people with COVID at the time and you, you had like a it doesn't show up anymore because I guess it's over but you you had a a thing right down here that was like you infected blank people with COVID. This is a pretty fun. Got the chicken outfit, which I already said is from the uh, fancy boxes. These are as well. These are also from the time when you uh, you were forced to get cosmetics from the event chest. Let's take a look at how these look. I think they're pretty cool. Um, again, potential scam. Don't be mistaken. These are not lunar hide pieces. If somebody's like, I'm selling lunar robes or lunar set for a price that doesn't make sense, and then they put these up, do not let them scam you. That is a a common scam that I've seen attempted many times. Don't let, don't fall for it. We've got the uh, the Solar Knight set, which is a, I think is a Stadia set equivalent, but looks pretty cool. Got this this little little summer boy, summer boy, and the Solar Kite, which is pretty much the same as this. Wow, they really did not change very much there, huh? Got the Lunar Mystic sets, which look okay. They're not amazing. These are untradeable Beach Spirit robes, I believe, which look kind of fun. It's like ghostly but purple. We've got a shit ton of Lunar parrots and Solar parrots. Uh, I don't really know where I got these from. Maybe from opening like summer vintage caskets, but I think also maybe they're from Sit Dawn, or maybe they're from, from from all this opening. I think it might be that. Beach gloves, which are untradeable as well, are icons. We've got so many icons here. 34 lunars. Uh, it's like 34 trill, I guess. 38 solars, probably 38 trill, and 32 easters, which is way less expensive. Probably like eight trill there. Um, then there's all the other stuff from the Easter event. I think 2021 or 2020. Um, again, you were forced to get cosmetics. These are all of these little fun little pirate stuff here. I don't know why the theme was pirates, but it was. Um, and then we've got the, the Easter Die 2020 stuff. So this is from, I think it's also from the chest, but it might be from the from the vintage caskets or something like that. Um, we've got all these cool sets here. When you die with these, uh, you don't lose the die. So you can just have one one set of dies and you'll never, you'll never not have to PK with these fun little sets. Super cute. Um, not too useful for me. Whoa, that's a... That's a bugged face is what that is. But, you know, I, I, I dig these a lot. They look pretty cool. And it's a, like a fun little alternative to just regular PKing with, with PvP armors. You know, I've also got 83 of the dies, so that's that's cool too. We've got festive Easter sets galore. I think I bought a bunch of these as well when they were re-released recently. These are super cool. So these are the stats, right? Very high defense bonuses, and they're auto-keep. You don't lose these on death. If you want to PK with these, yeah, it's got low attack bonuses, sure, but the defense bonus is significant. And it's got plus six strength bonus for some reason. What, what piece does... I guess the helm gives plus three, and then the rest give two and one? Yeah. Weird. There's also the regular set. I want to compare their stats, actually. I'm not sure what is better. I guess they're probably the same, right? Yeah, totally the same, just a cosmetic difference. I think that the non-sparkly version is rarer, and they both look ridiculous. These are fancy box item. Fancy, 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 fancy box. Fancy box right there. All these are fancy boxes. Um, Easter rings, these are pretty rare. Um, there was a while ago, one guy was selling a bunch of them. For, for pretty cheap, so I bought I bought 11. Um, these are fancy box items. Uh, this is from the Blood Shard store, I believe. Got a, a bunch of the canes, though. These are fancy box. These are from the Pure Shop. Um, all of these here that I'm gonna take out in a second. These are all from the Pure Shop, so any, any I mean, like, these are decently valuable. I'm not exactly sure how much one would price check them at, but they're, they're, they're decent. These are fancy box items, fancy box items, fancy box items. Then the Light Infinity and Dark Infinity. I believe these are from the Mage Bank store, but I'm not totally sure. I want to check because I've, I've never never confirmed that with myself. Let me see your shop. Yeah, yeah, they're right here in the store. Um, if anybody tries to scam you saying that this is another potential scam, by the way, so watch out. If anybody tries to scam you saying that they are these sets, these sets look vastly different. Do not let yourself think that this Dark Infinity set is this Light Infinity set. Don't make that mistake. From there, this is more stuff from the fancy mystery boxes. Two gilded anchors, which are from, I believe, the Hunger Games store and the LMS store. They're fine. They're not amazing. Uh, more fancy box stuff, fancy box stuff. This is from the Blood Shark store, and this top hat is annoyingly rare because I'll show you why. This is ridiculous. This, is, this, this item, when I first got it, annoyed the hell out of me because I saw it in the vote shop. I was like, oh, cool. I don't have one of those. That's so cool. It's 150 vote points. It is 500 bill for this stupid little hat. And I know that's not a lot of money. I know, <laughs> but actually it does look kind of fun. All right, no regrets. But if you ever get yourself the Bucket Helm G uh, Wanderer Task, know that you shouldn't pay too much for it because it's right here in the Blood Shard store for only a 1,000 Blood Shards. Don't let yourself be fooled. Be smarter than those people that buy it from the people in the TP for 500 bill. No, 
No, not worth that. Get it from the blood shard store. We've got these rangers tunics and tights. I believe these are just from like task bottles, but I'm not totally sure where they come from. Um, we're approaching 5k of each of the Elder Chaos pieces, which is pretty cool. Our goal there is 10k, as is with most of these things. Um, two Dagon High sets, we're missing a lot of tops. I guess I use a lot of them for Wanderers. Um, then the decorative armor sets, where did these come from again? Hold on. I don't quite remember. I think it's from here, though. Is it? Yeah, it is. All right, cool, yeah. Don't get scammed. They're not that rare. They're right from the shop. Then we've got the Mystic Tomes. These things are semi-valuable, so they cost 75k magic tokens, but they're pretty much useless. It's just a cosmetic at this point. Um, what it does is it provides infinite rune source and gives a, a plus 2.5% magic damage bonus, but we have things that are way better, and we have rune pouches now, so they're pretty much useless, along with the Grandmaster Wand, which deals extra 10% damage. Not worth it. We have things that are better, you know? It's just a cosmetic at this point. I do think they would function well as a Wanderer task, though, just because it would be a big magic token sink, which is not totally needed, but it would make sense. We've also got money banners, money helms, and money kite shields. Uh, these are from making a heraldic, heraldic salvage in your house. Uh, mace, basically, it's it's the it's the rare drop from that, but they're valueless. They they, they are worth absolutely nothing. Um, we've got all these stabs of light, which are all notable now. When did that happen? I feel like they were never notable before. That's, that's kind of cool. Um, we've got a shit ton of marionettes. These are also from Sit Dawn. Uh, we've got a bunch of fancy mystery box items right here with the frog set, the camo set, the zombie set. Um, and the sleds, the sleds are all from mystery boxes and mystery chests. I've gotten, I, I don't think I've ever bought a sled. So we've gotten all these from boxes, probably ourselves. Um, pure team capes from the pure shop. Uh, the hazmat mask, this is from the same time as the Corona uh, event. Not really event, but uh, basically you could get a chicken and these hazmat pieces for I think like 10 bill each at the time. They're pretty rare now because a lot of them are, you know, are gone or banned or whatever it might be. Um, going back down, also got purple boxing gloves, which look exactly the same as these boxing gloves, like, like no difference whatsoever, but these are tradable and these are not. A lot of Christmas scarves, 37 Christmas whips, these are an interesting item because I believe it's uncapped. Oh no, never mind, they capped it recently. I thought it was uncapped, but it is not. Well, max hit with it is 47, it's a pretty good whip. Also got these spooky parrots, I believe also from St. Uh, I don't know where the jollies and the summer parrots are from, but I mean, I assume from event stuff, right? The grains, which I believe are also from... Oh, look at that. Congrats. Oh, my God. That was on stream. Grats, Yandin. You made it into my bank video. And you got two dark crystals. That's so sick. But moving on from that. Sorry about that. Got eight winter kites here. Decapitated heads. These are from an old Halloween event. They're pretty much useless, but they are tradable. Um, pretty much no reason to have them except for collectibles. Bone sack. I don't know where this is from. I think it's from Fancy Mystery Boxes as well. Christmas crackers. You got to buy these from the donator shop for like 10 k uh, donator tickets each, so like 200 billion to the moment. Gilded eggs, these are from an old event. I don't know how exactly I got them, but I, I guess I hunted them myself. Um, seven blood sabers, these are from the pure shop. Big shark, this is an interesting one because honestly, somebody gave me this as a present, and I have no clue whatsoever how they got it. It's not spawnable. If you go here to big shark, you can get that, you can get this one, but you can't get this one. You can get, wait. Yeah, this one looks slightly different than this one. And for some reason, this one is spawnable and this one isn't. I think this is maybe from like way back when you could maybe fish them. Um, really cool thing. I, I don't know anybody else in the entire game that has a big shark. So that's a, a pretty cool thing there. Got a bunch of old event tokens here. So, so, so many. We got 10,875 mithril seeds. These are not plantable. Don't get scammed. Some people will try to sell you them and say that you can get flowers out of them. You cannot. They are just mithril seeds. Completely unusable from the times when gam... See, mithril seeds are disabled now that we have a safe automated gambling. Check it out at colon colon... Wait, colon colon gambling works? I thought it was colon colon gamble. Dude, no way. Absolutely no way. That's so funny. I have been, I've been using colon colon gamble my whole life. 1k chins for some reason, one third age die, bunch of the, the statuettes from uh, from Revs. Uh, and then we got our bone collection here, which is a lot of donated, a lot of bought. Um, we're approaching 2 mil dragon bones. We want to get 10 mil eventually, but I'm really in no rush there. Um, somebody already has it. Shout out to Doggy, he has it. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't care too much about getting it, but I, I do like watching this collection grow. Um, we've got so many of the Bahala items. I, I was buying these out so that they wouldn't crash at all. And luckily they didn't. They're still pretty expensive. And I know people were spending their event coins on them. So I wanted, or this is Wicked Tokens. They're spending their event coins, were they? Their event coins on them. And I didn't want people to have to, you know, do that. Do that and for it not to pay off, rather. Two vintage caskets. I've been trying to save vintage caskets uh, since this event, actually, is when I started saving the caskets. Because I, I don't really care about what's in them. I more care about, like, having them in my bank. Um, and, you know, because I have all the coins. We'll, we'll get to that. Don't worry. 
um, more uh, rev stuff, 16, 15 uh, haunted Aram sets. I don't know why I have so few there, and 14 demonic bandoses. Um, Zamrock robes, these are untradeable. They only come from Karazi Island, which is kind of fun. Um, I've got 10k of the, the hotspot ones, the, the scrolls, uh, 5k of the, of the doubler, and 5k of the boost. Pretty cool. Also, five spooky Halloween scrolls. I don't really know what that's about. Um, a lot of old event stuff here. 34 frozen armor sets, which are pretty cool. Max snowballs. These are spawnable. I just like having them. Bunch of glacial items here. 199 winter die 2020. So people who try to sell me them, please don't. I don't need any more. I have 199. Uh, five rabbit's foot. I try to keep something from each event. I want to have as many of, of the non-spawnable items in game as possible. 926 spring event coins. I spent... Something like like 1.2 quad in the spring event uh, a while back, and uh, I kept all the coins. So if I wanted to, I could get 92 uh, vintage caskets, which is pretty sick, but I, I never will, I don't think. Got some of the event weapons, the Lunar Infinity, Solar Infinity, uh, a lot of the candy cane, you know, all, all the non-spawnable stuff from the events. Uh, snowball cannons, these are pretty rare, actually. I don't know where they come from or where they came from, but they, they look cool and they shoot snowballs. Let me show you. I'll shoot Mr. Luckarino here. Check it out. Oh. Wait, no, he's, he's hitting, he's hitting. Hold on. I'll pop, I am back. Look at this. He takes a little bit of recoil and goes, oof. Kind of fun, kind of cute. Got 42 of the winter event coins as well. A bunch of the, the old event boosts. Oh, I'm, a, I'm a hoarder. I, I like to keep like the old useless stuff. It, it's pretty fun for me. A lot of Halloween tokens. Uh, so many tokens of events gone by. Um, 24 festive icons. A lot of winter vintage casters. I guess I spent a bunch of these, huh? A lot of winter tokens, again, of a, of a different event. Um, Cursed die. Tribute party hats from Hunger Games. Those are pretty cool. Um, these are all purchasable from the coin shop or the blood money shop, I think, but I wanted to have all the sets, so. Um, we've got one Halloween mystery box to our name. Oh, these are cool. Uh, they were very shortly released and uh, never seen or heard of again. It's like this this Santa pirate set and the Santa camo set, which looks pretty pretty fun. Um, they're rare as hell. I don't know if they're ever going to re-release them, but they are uncommon. Um, we've got the old... Not that old evil clown set, which I think is two years ago Halloween event, or maybe this past year. I'm not. No, no. It's, yeah, it's last year's. It's last year's event. Um, the Deathbringer tonics also from that event. A lot of elemental skin tokens. Been buying those. Don't know why. Just felt like it. Grandmaster wands. A lot of ciders. <laughs> Pretty useless. It's just cider, but not spawnable. A lot of spring tokens there. All the spring weapons. Um, I was going for a thousand of these Easter chaos sets, but I don't think it's possible. I don't think there's that many in game. 407 Easter bounty capes as well. Pretty pretty useless amount. Um, what else? We got 455k summer tokens, all of these summer bows and stuff. Um, the sun shorts and the beach shorts, pretty rare as well. Kind of, kind of fancy looking with my legs, you know? Oh, something I forgot to mention, the polar camo. So this is an interesting one. Uh, you cannot wear it. It does not work, but it is not spawnable. And I have, once again, no clue where this came from whatsoever. Um, I got it as a donation, uh, from an old, old player. And no info on it since. I, I've asked around. Nobody has any idea what that is. So that's a, a pretty cool one. Um, last little bit here. We've got the Harvest stuff from the summer event. The orange summer uh, cosmetics. I wish I'd gotten more of them, but I wasn't expecting the event to end. Uh, so we've got two of each of those. And we've got 273 coins there. Jesus. A lot more Harvest icons, party hats. And the new festive skeleton stuff, which looks pretty sick if you haven't seen it here. Um, we'll grab a bunch of this out. Check it out. So this is the new Festive Skeleton set for the current event that's playing right now, as of the time that I'm recording this video. Looks pretty cool. Um, and we have, again, a lot of the, the Nightwinter coins. Let, let's show you guys all of the coins that we have saved up. Boom, 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 boom. So if I wanted to, we could add to our bank. Let's see how many. So six times, six out of this, let's, let's call that 20 of them. That's like another 40 trill right there. Um, let's see about the summer coins. Yep, that's like, I don't know, hold on. I'd say those are probably two trill each as well. That's like 45 caskets, so 90 trill there. Um, then we've got the uh, winter coins. These are probably the 10 each, so that's probably another eight trill-ish. Um, this is the hard one. 926, at probably two trill each. We're looking at probably 184 trill, if not more. And then lastly, we have the Halloween event coin, which I didn't buy too many of, or I guess I, I bought as many caskets as I could. So we can't even buy a casket there, but we can buy an icon, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and that pretty much brings us to the end of our cosmetics YouTube video here. Um, I have some cosmetic pets I can show as well, some of the rarer ones. So we, we, we have a bunch of these like older event pets, pretty much stuff that, that, that you would automatically get from the uh, from the event itself. We've got reindeers, you know, the, the snow grack, frozen wyvern, 
Um, the rarest of these, not well, not including these bottom six here, is I think the Winter Wolf and the Winter Imp. These are, are pretty uncommon pets, and they, they look pretty cute. Um, we got the little baby chocolate crab, dude, which was released er, recently, but I, I like it a lot. It's it's, it's adorable. Um, going to the most expensive, and this this will be our last moment here, I think, of, of the uh, of the bank video. We've got the Karazi Dragon, which I showed earlier. Thing is pretty damn rare. We got the Nocturnal Guardian, which is also very rare. It's a mix of a Guardian pet and a Death pet. I only have one. I used to have two, but I lost it. Um, Blood Wolf or Tinker pet. I know of two of these in the entire game. Um, I have one, and PK Happy Tail has one. I don't know of any more. Maybe Ascend has one, but I'm not sure. Um, and then we've got these skeleton pets. Skeleton Heavy, Skeleton Warlord, and Skeleton Thug. I don't know where exactly all these came from. I know from different events, but I don't know which is which. And with that, folks, I think it's time for us to end this here video. I hope you all enjoyed, maybe learned something about the game. If you have any questions about any of these items, um, I, I'll try to answer as many as I can in the comments. I know this is going to be a long video, but uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to apply for the giveaway. It's going to be two ultimate cow fight pets for 30 trillion GP total. So again, like the video, comment your in-game name, subscribe, that easy, that simple. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate every single last one of you. I hope you all enjoyed. This will be our last bank video probably for the year. Might do another one next year, but it probably won't be that different. So cursed out, excuse me, siren. I don't know if you guys could hear the uh, siren in the background, but it was there. Cursed out, signing out. Goodbye.